Um, we're here for Tech Tuesdays. What we're going to do is teach y'all the fundamentals of different lights that are coming out. Um, the first section, we're going to break this down into three parts. We're going to do the aperture lighting. We're going to do their MC line, their V7C, and also their new powerhouse um, light, the um, Nova P300C. It's your boy Boss over here with Capital Grooves Inc. That's Capital with a K. We got on setting code behind the cameras, and we are at Wavelength Lighting, the perfect place to rent or uh, purchase any of your lights from these powerhouse lighting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna review the top three lights that just came out by Aperture, their MC lights, their B7C um, light bulbs, and also their Nova P300C. The reason for Tech Tuesdays, we're gonna break down these new light companies and um, the lights that are coming out, the ones that are already here, and what different fundamentals we can use them in, different sets, different scenarios, and how you can be creative with these different lights. Stay tuned for Tech Tuesdays. Hey, what's up? Today we're going over the Aperture MC lights. They come in three different kits. You have the MC Solo, which is run, coming in at 90 bucks. You got your MC4 kit, which comes in at 500, and your MC12 kit would come in at 1500. The CCT range on these are from 3200 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. Um, you also have HSI control, and you have special effects with all these lights. Um, you can control them via the light itself, or you can also control it by, via the Citus um, Link Control app, and it's very versatile and responsive. So let me show you real quick. Mm. So you can control it, the different colors, the different effects, um, and it's, they're constantly updating. Also, what's cool about this light is it's magnetic. So you can put, pop it up in different areas that are metal. I put it from everything from a stove top to a fireplace to rafters. Basically anywhere you need a little pop of light or you need different color, it's, it's perfect for that, for that application. Also what's cool about if you have to get the four kit or the 12 kit, they have wireless charging. So you just pop it inside there and wireless charge. They also have different accessories that come with it. The big 12 kit comes with a, a, a drawer so you can actually put your accessories inside. If you get the single kit, you get this case with the, the hook on the back, you get your diffuser, you also get um, a charging cable for it, and then you get two Velcro pads. So if you need a Velcro and, and attach it to anything, that works perfectly. Um, the battery life on um, each one of these lights are, are approximately two and a half hours, depending on how you're using it. If you got it at full power, if you're doing different special effects, then of course that'll vary with that. Um, what I do like about these lights is, like I said, they can fit in small spaces. Um, you can use multiple lights and control them either individually or have them work in unison. So that's that's real perfect. I, I, I like how that works and it, it's a smooth process. And it also syncs with any other lighting system that they have within their, um, their repertoire. Today we're talking about the B7C by Aperture, the smart light bulb. It's a cool little trinket to add to your, your set. Mm. All right, let's open this up and get your light. You charge it via the socket. If you want one of these lights, um, you can get it from Wavelength Lighting. It's $70 for the B7C. If you want one, if you want the eight pack, it's 700. And it ranges from, with the CCT range, is 2,000 to 10,000 Kelvin. It also has HSI control, and you also have special effects built in. You can also control it via the Citus link. So, app, so you got the different controls with it. So you can run it unlimited if you're, if you're plugged into the socket. At low power, um, you get about four plus hours. At full power, you get 70 minutes. And what's actually cool, really cool about this light that I haven't seen in any other lights is it's wireless. So it's a lot of versatility. You can put it on different music sets, different movies, have different effects that you normally couldn't have without doing a lot of masking, going into After Effects, and putting a lot of work in. So it makes it easier for the, the content creator and the director kind of setting up scenes so stay posted. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hey, how you doing? We're doing Aperture's Powerhouse Light. It's the Nova P300C coming in at 1700 just for the light, 1900 for the kit, 150 for the softbox. But I recommend you go to Wavelength Lighting and you get the kit and you get the softbox. You're going to need it. It has a diffusion. It has a grid. Perfect. You know, it's versatile. Got six locks 
on your container with the wheels to roll around to the different sets. If you get the kit, well, not if you get the kit, once you get the kit, you have a short controller um, for when you connect it to the back of the light, or you can connect it to your C-stand via the ratcheting clamp. Mm -hmm. clamp. What I like about this is you have, you can control the intensity, your Kelvin, you can also control your magentas and your greens from there. It has a, um, a USB um, port on the side so you can power other objects like your cameras or any extra things that you might have on set. And you can also control it via DMX. So if you have any concerts or events, you can control it that way too. Um, this is also, um, it has different HSI controllers that you can do in there. You can control it via the Citus link. And like I said, the Citus link is very responsive. Um, all the, you get all the different controls you get from there. So you can connect it with your other lights from Aperture. And this is perfect for, if, like I said, if you need a bounce light or as a fill light. And you can use it in, uh, basically any application you need it for. Movies, music videos, commercials. This is your light. Make sure you subscribe, stay posted, press that bell so you know when we drop new things on Wave Lift Lighting. We got on setting code on the on the cameras. And I'm your boy Boss Soli with Capital Grooves Inc. That's Capital with a K. We capture the moment and make it history. Hey, it's Boss Soli with Capital Grooves Inc. That's Capital with a K. We got on setting code behind the cameras at Wave Lift Lighting. We just reviewed Aperture's new lights. We got the P300C Nova, B7C light bulb. And we got the MC lights. Awesome. Intermagnetic. Amazing. Make sure you stay tuned for Tech Tuesdays. Like, subscribe, press that little bell. Stay tuned. We capture the moment and we make it history. Hey, make sure y'all like and subscribe. And then comment. Tell me what lights you want us to review next for Tech Tuesdays. You want Litra? You want Astera? You want the sky panels? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe, press that bell so you know when we drop new content. We capture the moment and make it history.